What is that, Porter? Alligator. Alligator? What does the alligator say? Chump, chump. What's he saying? I see me chump. He's saying chump? Yes. Oh. Are you talking to him? You giving him a hug? Aww. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Say hi, Porter. Hi. What are we doing this morning? We're baking a cake for Daddy. Oh, why are we baking a cake for Daddy? Because it's his birthday. Is it his birthday? Yes, it is. <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, wow. Do we love birthdays? Yes. Yes. So, it's nine in the morning and the boys really want to bake a cake. They've been waiting for days to bake a cake. Yes. Gary keeps asking when daddy's birthday party is, but we're not going to have one. <laughs> Only little kids get birthday parties, huh? So we're going to bake a cake. Gray's in his jammies. I'm still in my jammies, but that Mommy, doesn't matter Mommy. because the boys want to bake a cake. We so bake a cake. we're going to bake a cake for daddy and then maybe we'll sing to him on his lunch break because it is Friday. So he is working, but maybe we'll sing happy birthday to him. So Porter and I went to the store the other day and we got cake mix and some frosting. Show me the cake mix, Porter. Show me. Right that, yeah, that's the mixer, huh? But where's the cake? Is that it right there? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. I didn't know what really to get because Anthony doesn't really like cake or sweets. So I just got white because the kids would probably like that. It's white. Is it white? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to bake daddy yes. cake and maybe I'll vlog some of it, huh? Anthony, for his birthday, got a new desk. My parents finished the office off. I'll show you when Anthony is not in there because he's setting up. But that's his birthday gift is he got a new desk. So we're going to bake him a cake and say surprise because he has no idea <laughs> that we're making him a cake. Porter just made the biggest surprise face. <laughs> So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna surprise him, and we even have special candles for Daddy. For Daddy, we got candles for his cake, so we can we can blow them out. We can sing to him. Okay, oh, okay, let's. It's okay. Hey, you have the cake, and Porter or and Grayson has the candles. Okay, we share. Okay, so are we gonna start baking the cake? Yeah. want Porter's enthusiasm. All right, here we go. So what's step number one? What do we do first? Ha, 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 da, ha. Yeah, look on the back. It says number one. What does it say? Number one. Mm-hmm. No, no. It says heat what? oven to... 350. Okay, so we got out our cake pan and we sprayed it so that the cake won't stick. And we turn on the oven so it's starting to heat up. So what's what's step number two? Number two. Do you can you find the number two? Three. Oh. Three. Look on the back. Can you find number two? Right down. Oh, it's right there. Let's see. What what does it say? It says pour in the cake mix. So should we put a cake mix into the bowl? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. That's a great. This is the bowl. <laughs> okay. That's ready. That okay, so we added in the cake mix, water, vegetable oil, and three eggs. Okay, so now... We're going to mix it. That was us at the beach. Yes. All right. So we're going to mix it. Ready? Put it on. Hang on. Put it on. 
There we go, that locks it in place. Okay, ready? Oh, I gotta plug it in. Silly me. <laughs> I'm turning it on and I didn't even plug it in. Silly mommy. Silly Grace. Okay, take two. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Whoa. Well, hang on, let's mix it a little. What do you think? Good. Yay! Good. Does it look yummy? Yay! Mm. These boys love baking. Yes, huh. one. Are you following the directions? Yes. Okay, good. Find someone who looks at you like Porter looks at the mixer. <coughs> How about faster? You want it faster? Yes. Ready? Whoa. Two. You turn up the light. All right. I got my taste testers here. We just put the cake in the pan. Does it taste good? Yes. Yeah, is it going to make a good cake? Yes. Okay, now we're going to put it in the oven. And then we got to wait for it to bake, huh? And then we'll let it cool down, then we'll put some frosting on it, huh? Put the white You want to move over? Yes. Okay. Good news, Daddy. Our taste testers say your cake is good. Going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> is it yummy? 9.32. It's 9.32. And we've already made a cake. Okay, so... We got our cake, oh where is it, oh. Okay, so we got our cake, we pulled it out of the oven and it looks great. Grayson kind of got a hold of it, so there's a little mark, but that's okay, we're gonna cover it with icing. Are we ready? We're gonna ice the cake. Yes, we okay. are Okay, and then we can sing to Daddy on his lunch break, huh? Do we still have our candles? Yay! What's over? Uh-oh, oh, it's over here. Oh, oh, okay. 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 okay, okay. So we gotta get a knife so that we can spread the icing out on our cake. Okay, pick your feet up. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? We're gonna frost. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to It's his birthday. <laughs> yes. Yes. <gasps> Yay! He did Yay. it. Woo! Daddy, now we get to taste the cake. Oh, you want to taste it now? Yes. Okay. All <laughs> right. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Porter's just sticking his finger straight in. <laughs> I'm gonna get down. Hey guys, so it's the day after Anthony's birthday and I just want to let you know how the surprise went. Obviously, I couldn't talk about it 
on camera earlier in this vlog because Anthony was right in the next room and he could hear and I didn't want to give it away. So I didn't say anything, but um, basically we made that cake for Anthony saying to him, I ended up taking the kids over to my parents' house. They let them stay the night over at their house, which was super awesome because um, then we could stay out as late as we wanted to. Uh, I was worried that Anthony might think something's up because that doesn't happen very often, but I just told him it was a gift for him from my parents and he didn't think anything of it. And so then I came back here and we got ready to go to dinner. I told him it was just him and I going to dinner for his birthday. And then we would just like go get drinks afterwards or something. And he kept telling me like, oh, well, I don't really wanna go get drinks with you <laughs> afterwards because you're pregnant. And so I'm the only one drinking. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> which is kind of why I did this like surprise in the first place because like I can't drink with him and it's really no fun drinking by yourself. So this way there was a bunch of people for him to drink with, but he didn't know that at that point. So we uh, got in the car and went uh, to the restaurant. I have told everybody to get at the restaurant at seven and I booked a private room, which was awesome. And then we got there at like 7.15 to give enough people time, give people enough time to like get there. And if they were a little late, like they would still make it. Cause the whole point of a surprise party is you want everyone there first. And then the person whose birthday it is or who's being surprised comes last, obviously. We went there and on the way there, I was like so nervous. My heart was beating out of my chest. I was so sure that like Anthony knew something was up. There were a couple times where like my siblings were talking out loud about it not realizing he was in the room or he was like in the next room um, or like when I called to make the reservation like he was just downstairs so I was worried that he heard that I don't know there's just a lot and so I was worried he was gonna think something was up but uh, anyway we got to the restaurant and um, they took us and it was hilarious because at this restaurant we went to their like private room is like at the back of the restaurant so when they were taking us to their seats, we were like winding around all these tables and then they took us like out the door through like an alleyway and then into another building. And I just was like, I wish I knew what Anthony was thinking right now because he's probably like, what is going on? Um, and of course I knew. And so then they opened the door and everyone was there. And so we walked in, they all said, surprise. <laughs> and uh, Anthony said he had no idea. He was shocked. It was great. I had like a bunch of his friends from Columbus there. All my siblings and their significant others were there. Um, even Anthony's best friend from preschool, grade school, middle school, high school, um, who lives in Toledo, so like two and a half hours away came. So it was awesome. Um, so many people came. I think there was like 25 of us or something. It was a huge group. So it was super fun. I um, didn't go too heavy on the decorations because I know Anthony wouldn't like it. Like he's a boy. So I just got these like little cupcake toppers that like had his face and then a 30 or a hat with the uh, number 30 on them. I got them off Etsy. Um, so I'll input a picture of that here, which was hilarious. And I just got the cupcakes from like Kroger. I was not about to make them myself because how would I do it? He would know like, why are you making cupcakes? So anyway, he was totally shocked, totally surprised. It was such a fun night. I made little, um, uh, sheets that I printed off to do games so we did like trivia about like the year Anthony was born which was 1992. I did like 90s slang trivia just different games like that everybody seemed to have a really good time with it and then we had dinner and then afterwards um, we walked to this bar and just had drinks and I think we stayed out until like 2 a.m. It was really late night, crazy for us because Anthony and I usually don't do that, but with the kids gone, we took advantage of it. So he had a great time. He said he was shocked. He had a great birthday. I finally pulled off a surprise party. I've never done that before. So it was a success. Um, I hope he had a great day. Um, I told him I do not want to be surprised for my 30th. I said, let's just plan a vacation because when I turn 30, I will have a newborn. <laughs> and so I can't really just like go out on a night on my own and I don't really have as many friends as Anthony does anyway so I told him let's just plan a trip so anyway it was good um I was patting myself on the back like never found out everyone showed up 
it all went off perfectly. So it was great. It was an awesome event and I'm glad it happened. But anyway, I just wanted to close out the vlog. Um, I didn't take too many videos and pictures, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, but it was fun. You can take my word for it. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go. So make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.